topics today session number 4 of chapter number 4 words kids uh, in last session i explained you things about fit in today's session i am going to help you to explain about fit and class of words right there are so many different different fit and class of words are there right? um, we have so many different different types of words are there According to that, according to their food habit, they have a different different feet and clouds are also there, right? Like fresh thing birds have a that kind of feet and clouds. Then after perching birds, then after scratching birds, then after swimming birds, then after wedding birds, then after climbing birds. So these are the different types of categories of birds are there, right? According to their food habits, they have a different different clouds and feet. Done with, but uh, let me explain you things regarding chapter number, sorry, chapter number 4, session number 3. In session number 3, what I explained you? I explained you about pigs. Pigs, right? Birds do not have teeth, right? So they have a pigs. They have a pigs that help them to catch their food. And with the help of pain, they easily can eat the food, right? The shape of a bird's feet depends on the kind of food they eat. All our different different birds are there, right? According to their food habits, they have a different shape pigs, like short and hard wing. Sparrows, pigeons, and peacock have a short and hard wing, is that right? Then after curl shape wing. Parrot, parakeet, and macaw have a curved wing. Then after strong, sharp, and hook shape. Vulture, eagle, and kite have a strong, sharp, and hook shape. Right? Then after strong and chisel shape. Woodpecker, whoopee, and hummingbirds are the such birds have a strong and chisel shape. Right? Then after broad, broad and flat wing. The and span have a broad and flat wing, right? Then after spoon shape big, big spoon bill have a spoon shape big, right? So these are the different types of wigs that's been explained by me in last session. In today's session, let me help you to explain about feet and gloves. Feet and gloves are too much helpful to words, right? Without feet and gloves, they won't be able to stand, they won't be able to catch any dead prey. But look, they won't be able to do anything, right? So birds have a birds have a feet and gloves, three gloves are very important for birds, right? Birds have a two legs to move around. Kids, we human beings have a two legs to move, right? Normally all animals have four legs, right? Now birds have a two, two legs to move around, right? They also need two legs to move. So to if we have a no legs, we human beings, we any living things do not have any leg, right? And what's the thing? We cannot do anything, right? So same as like that, birds have a two legs to move around, right? Most birds have four toes on each foot. Most of the birds have four toes on them. Kitne toes on them? Four toes on them, right? Eight foot mein four toes on them. Kitne on them kids? Four toes. Kids, we have only one toes, right? Like me, we have only one toes. But they have four toes, right? Eight leg mein we have four toes on them. Each toe has a curved and pointed club at its end. Ek to ke end me pointed cloud, right? A pointed cloud, just get through who will be playing, who catch herself there, or they easily can sit anywhere, right? Birds use their feet and clouds to catch food, to protect themselves, and to sit on tree branches. These pointed these pointed clouds help them to catch food for themselves. They easily can sit in any branches and it also helps to protect themselves. Kids, uh, 
as I told you, there are so many different types of animals and birds are there. Some are herbivores, some are carnivores, and some are omnivores. So some pets somehow they are hunting each other, right? So we all want to survive in these world, right? So sometimes we need to protect ourselves. Our self to protect right? compulsory right? If someone is attacking on someone, we just physically open attack. Then what? They are trying to save themselves, right? Go down, go back, try again. So they have it. So this clouds helps them to protect themselves and fight against any predator, right? Different birds have different types of feet and clubs. As I told you, so many different types of birds are there. So there are different types of birds are there according to the differences of birds. They have a natural, they have different types of clubs and different types of feet, right? So one is flesh eating birds. Eagles and vultures are flesh eating birds. They have strong and sharp claws. Claws called talons. It's flesh eating birds. As I told you when I explained something about wings, right? Uh, according to their eating habits, they have a different types of wings, are there, right? Same as like that, if some bird have a some kind of flesh eating habit. So it have that kind of tail or claws are there, right? They need some sharp and pointed claws that is called talons. What? That is called talons. For example, eagle and vulture have a talons. So easily they can catch any prey, right? These birds hold their prey between their talons while flying. Who apne prey ko apne to toes hote hai, uske beech me usko pakad lete hai, right? Or they, or wo, they easily can fly from one place to another. So, jo they, they are hunting horses, sheep, goat, eagles, huh kids? Eagles, I'm talking about eagles. They are holding these heavy animals through their club that is called talons. Itni heavy trees be polo utha lete through their clouds and that clouds is called talons. Don't forget. Clear? Now, perching birds. Perching birds is perching birds, right kids? The feet of birds such as crow, sparrow, Mina have three have three toes in front and one toe in back. Perching tree, right kids? You know what is the meaning of a perching? Sitting of birds on trees by gripping with their feet. Wo branches ke upar jab bethte hai with the they need some grip to sit on a branch, right? So that grip is. Whichever bird have a that grip to sit on the branches of the tree, that thing is called perch. Clear? So sparrow and minas have a three toes in front side and one toe in back side. So they easily can hold branches very well. They use their toes to hold the branch. This is called perching. This kind of thing is called perching. This helps them to perch or sit on high branches without falling. That is why these birds are called perching. Perching birds, kids, they need some grip to sit on the branch, right? High branches. So if who gired nahi, so they need some very what they have, what they need, they need strong grip, right? Otherwise, they can fall down. So, so they have these kind of clothes, so they easily can sit on high branches without falling. So, these type of birds are called perching birds. Clear, kids? Now, next. 
scratching birds, hen, rooster, and peacock have hard and sharp claws. Hen, rooster, and peacock have hard and sharp, sharp claws. Their hard claws help them to scratch and dig the ground and pull out insects and worms. Kids, they have strong and hard claws. So through that they easily can dig any soil and from that soil they easily can take out any insects and worms through their claws. So that's why they have a strong and hard claws. Clear kids? Now next, swimming birds. Birds such as duck and goose have webbed feet. Kids duck and goose have a webbed feet. There is a web of there is a web of skin between the three front toes as I have shown in picture. ये जो toes होते हैं उसके बीच में होती है उसके बीच में skin होती है क्या होती है kids skin. So with that with the help of these kind of toes they easily can swim in a water. Right? The web feet act like oars. Right. So these are the things, these are the very important points that 
you are supposed to keep it in your mind about weights, weight and points. They are so much important for words, right? If you are here, then I'm going to explain you through some practicals. So now here I'm going to end my session number four. And in session number five, I'm going to explain about where do birds live. The birds come up here that they can. There are nests in walls, nest in rocks, a woven nest, stitched nest, nest on open ground, and then after carrying off young ones. Kids, um, we are kids, you all are kids, right? Even I am a I am I'm a kid for my parents, only. still they are caring about me. They have some kind of cares regarding me. So we parents someday but taking care and they same as like that, birds also have a very good words in how and like which type which type of things they are providing to their young ones, how they are taking care of their young ones. Right? So these are the things I am going to explain by the game. next session. Okay, so kids here I have shared a PDF with you. Right? Please try to follow it that PDF by your own self. If you find any queries, watch my video again. Still, you find query, open your textbook and answer it. Uh, try to search it out. You will feel easy, right? But do it by your own self. Okay, kids? Now, tell all. See you in the next session.